Drug-resistant bacterial infections are on track to kill more people than cancer. That's according to a new report from the UK. This report's finding in 34 years, so-called superbugs could cause as many as 10 million deaths worldwide per year, mind you. Dr. Mark Siegel uh, joins us now, professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center, a member of the Fox News Medical Aid team. 10 million. How is that possible? Greg, I think it is possible. We're already at more than 700,000 deaths a year tied to antibiotic resistance. 23,000 here in the United States. Two million infections here in the United States from resistant bugs. We're talking tuberculosis. We're talking MRSA. MRSA. MRSA, which is a superbug that causes the skin infection everyone knows about. C. difficile, which causes diarrhea. Right. It's in the hospital. These are very, very big ticket items. Why are they antibiotic resistant? To start with, number one reason occurs in animals. 80% of the problem is that we're feeding low doses of antibiotics to animals on a regular basis. And then people consume the meat. And right? you have resistant bugs because low doses of antibiotics promote mutations. We use it just for growth. Right. We use it just so that we can get bigger uh, bigger and fatter animals. The FDA is trying to clamp down on that, Greg. They got veterinarians getting involved in the process saying, don't give antibiotics unless the animal is sick, but the compliance rate is low. All right, beyond animals, are doctors uh, abusing antibiotics and misdiagnosing uh, things, for example, mistaking uh, bacterial for virus and vice versa? Exactly right what you just said. First of all, we don't have the diagnostic tools we need. We need to be able to tell right away that it's not a bacteria, that it's a virus, because 95% of upper respiratory infections are viral. We're giving that z pack out. We're giving the amoxicillin out most of the time when you don't even need it. The more antibiotics you use, the more the millions of colonies of bacteria figure out a way around it. They mutate, and you get resistant bugs. That's a problem. We're not sanitizing our hospitals enough. Ah. Bacteria grows on doctors' ties on lab coats. We're not, we're not practicing enough hygiene in hospitals and, and, and in the community as well. The other problem is that we don't have new antibiotics because the drug companies don't make enough money on antibiotics because you only need it right. when you're sick. Something you know, like an antidepressant well, or Viagra you take every day, right? But How do we but fix that? I mean, drug companies are businesses. They you know, generally have to make a profit. You know. I think we're going to have to incentivize it. I think, and I'm not a big fan of incentivizing things. Antibiotics, it's stalled. We're getting no new ones. The government has to get involved and make incentives for drug companies to want to come up with new antibiotics. But that's the last part of the problem. The first part of the problem is cut down on overuse in animals and in humans. All right. Dr. Mark Siegel. Huge problem. Thank you very much. Good to see you.